Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hey everybody, old Captain here after a long ass motorcycle ride and a chilly one at that. Got a video request. <clears throat> if you have a video request, blah blah blah, have money, blah blah blah, give it to me, the money that is, blah blah blah, make me rich, I give you advice, make sure you don't fuck up your life, blah blah blah, go to assholeconsulting.com. Hey Aaron, I just turned 21 today and I've already pretty much gotten to the point of retiring. My home has been. Now, this is, he's a repeat client. Don't think he's an arrogant, cocky son of a bitch. He uh, inherited and has been trying to figure out what to do wisely with his inheritance, not piss it away. And so um, don't think like, well, I just dur -dur -dur, durka durka. Uh, he, uh, he's been working at it. Now, my home is paid off. I own land that I can de develop. I have no car note to worry about. I'm renting out a room to my brother that takes care of 50% of my living expenses. Life is pretty good. But I'm in school on the GI Bill studying physics. I don't necessarily know why. I came in as a computer science, believing it would be more realistic than being a video game developer. As I grew out of video games halfway through high school, I realized I didn't want to do that either because what I really was passionate about <coughs> learning was the mathematics of electricity and magnetism and applications to electrical engineering. We should have gone into electrical engineering then. Uh, side note, I didn't really learn too much about what to major in college before I went and my high school had no science programs to let me know I liked it to begin with. Anyway, the GI Bill gives me an annuity and that's why I used to pay the other half of my living expenses. I save up the rest and I'm sitting on quite a bit of cash nowadays on top of my silver and gold stack. So I'm young, handsome, and wealthy. I feel good, better than ever, and I'm learning finally now that it's all because of how I deal with situations on a subconscious emotional level on top of logic and reason. I've got about 15 months or so remaining on my GI Bill though, and I've not made too much progress in my major since re-declaring. Alright, so what are you? Are you electrical engineering? Are you... what the hell? Where was your thing? GI Bill came in as computer science, believing it was more I grew up after high school. <coughs> Realized I didn't want to do that, passionate about mathematics and electricity. Okay. All right. Uh, sorry, bear with me here, ladies and gentlemen. And I've not made too much progress on my major since redeclaring. So what did you redeclare? It's not clear here what you did. Are you in electrical engineering? You were in computer science, now you're in electrical engineering. I hope you're in electrical engineering because that's where your passion sounds like it is. So I'm reevaluating my position in life. I got here preparing for the worst and hoping for the best, so I figure why not do it again, but this time with a little more infrastructure at my disposal. But me being in school studying physics, oh, you're studying physics, isn't preparing for the worst of anything. If I was preparing myself for what is most probable to face this country, I'd be picking up a trade in either mechanic or electrical work and getting paid as an apprentice while I do it. In comparison, stunning the least industrial of the STEM fields seems pretty retarded. Industrious, I think you mean, of the STEM fields. Anyway, let me know if you think I'm making too much sense here or not enough. I like a video request as it seems physics is on a lot of guys' minds nowadays. Um, anyway, look, physics is, is very theoretical, and I did a, a video about uh, physics, and it's just, it's like biology, it's not, it's not, appli uh, it's not uh, applied enough, it's not specialized enough. Um, if you are interested in magnetism and electricity, become an electrical engineer or major in electrical engineering. Now, whether you should get a four-year degree or something more hands-on and practical if you believe the uh, apocalypse is coming, uh, then you, know, you want to get a trade. Okay, you could become an electrician or become a welder or something like that or a mechanic, but that's not going to teach you electrical engineering. It'll, it'll help, but it, it's not going to teach you that. Uh, so you have to decide what do you think is going to happen, what's more important to you. You're pretty much set. You have your land. You're going to make and grow food out of it. Your brother's covering your rent. Um, you got the GI Bill. 
Uh, do, you, do you really want to go through a four-year degree and then start a career as an electrical engineer? Or are you okay just tinkering with toys and having a welding uh, gear at, at home in your garage and, and doing that? Uh, it's a choice that you get to make. I can't tell you. I can tell you I don't think the U.S. is going to collapse tomorrow because, frankly, we're the only country on the planet that has its shit most together or we're the least fucked up country here compared to any competitors that would be a rival to the U.S. dollar as the, as the world's currency, the world's reserve currency. So I think you have enough time, especially with the financial backing of the U.S. federal government to give you your GI Bill, to get your degree in electrical engineering. Don't even bother with fucking physics. That's fucking, it's not dumb. It's very intelligent. It's very interesting. But you could study that on the side. Uh, if you're going to put this much effort into it, as much as you would a physics degree, you might as well go back to computer um, engineering or electrical engineering so that you have some kind of job. And then after you get your career going on, take some classes on welding or becoming an electrician or just teach it to yourself on the internet along with teaching yourself physics on the internet for free. Um, and then going with the original plan to turn your land into uh, crops. Uh, you have your, your gold and your silver, all that backed up. You have your property and land. Uh, you'll be sitting very, very, very pretty. But I think it's a pretty safe bet. Again, no guarantees. You have plenty of time not only to major in electrical engineering, but work a career and get trained in welding and or becoming an electrician or whatever it is that you want. I think the money would be in the electrical engineering. I, mean, I don't see us collapsing hard in at least 10 years. Oh, of course, you never know. If Bernie could get elected, well, then that would change my opinion. But um, yeah, that's, that's why I'd say. So you have plenty of time to get the electrical engineering degree, maybe welding, teach yourself on the side, give yourself a hobby to do. Uh, and yeah, that, that's absolutely. Otherwise, yeah, you're totally sitting pretty. I, I could use an inheritance too. <laughs> of course, you had to have your dad die, unfortunately, to get it. But... Anyway, best of luck. Appreciate it. Hope you do well. Toodles.